In this video, we're going to have a look at multiplying matrices. Specifically, in this example, you're asked to multiply the two matrices, A, which is 3, 5, negative 1, 2, and B, which is negative 4, 7, 6, 1. Remember that order of multiplication does matter, and in order to multiply matrices, the technique is kind of complicated. It's not what you might expect. You can't simply just go ahead and multiply entries in like positions together. What you have to do is multiply entries along the ith row of A times those in the jth column of B. And once you multiply entries and add them together, that becomes the entry ij in your new product matrix. If you need help understanding this process, remember that there's resources in the lecture room that explain the idea of multiplying matrices and show how to do it step by step. So have a look at those if you're not yet ready to try this on your own. If you are, go ahead, try this out, and then we'll continue once you're done. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at the solution. AB is going to be the product of the matrix A and the matrix B. Remember that in order to find entries, we're going to go one by one. Let's just highlight for the first example. To find the entry in the first row, first column of our new product matrix, we're going to multiply entries in the first row of matrix A by those in the first column of matrix B. So in other words, what we're going to have is 3 times negative 4 plus 5 times 6. So again, we've multiplied entry 1, 1 in matrix A by entry 1, 1 in matrix B. And then we've added to that entry 1, 2 in matrix A times entry 2, 1 in matrix B. Now, in order to find the entry in position 2, 1 in our new matrix, we're going to consider the second row of A and the first column of B. So what we have in this case is negative 1 times negative 4 plus 2 times 6. Next, to find the entry in position 1, 2 in our new matrix, we're going to consider the first row of A and the second column of B. So what we get in this case is 3 times 7 plus 5 times 1. Finally, in order to figure out the last entry, so 2, 2, we're going to consider the second row of matrix A and the second column of matrix B. And sorry that there's so many colors and so many things going on here, but it's hard to otherwise indicate which row and which column we're considering. So we're going to be working with now the second row of A and the second column of B, and that's going to give us entry 2, 2 in the new product matrix. So what we have is negative 1 times 7 plus 2 times 1. So now we've done all the hard part. Everything else is just actually simplifying this. So 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 5 times 6 is 30, negative 12 plus 30 is 18. Um, for entry 1, 2, 3 times 7 is 21, 5 times 1 is 5, so we end up with 21 plus 5, which is 26. For entry 2, 1, negative 1 times negative 4 is 4, and 2 times 6 is 12, so 12 plus 4 is 16. And for entry 2, 2, negative 1 times 7 is negative 7, and 2 times 1 is 2, so negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. So we end up with our final product matrix, which is 18, 26, 16, negative 5. A couple of things to point out. Remember that order does matter. If you had found BA, you may end up with a different answer. And the other thing to remember is that you just have to go through very carefully, step by step. There's only really one step to do here. Everything else is just simplifying. And that's just being careful that if you want to find entry ij, so for example, 2, 1, because it's entry 2, 1, we're working with the second row of A and the first column of B, multiplying and adding along those. And that's all there is to it. Now, this was a 2x2 two two example. If you'd like to see some harder examples, then you can have a look at those as well. There are several examples on this website, including 3x3, three three, for example, or other matrix sizes as well. The idea in all of these, though, is exactly the same. To get entry ij in the matrix AB, you simply multiply entries along the ith row of A by the jth column of B and add those together.